I grew up in church and I went to a well-known Christian camp for many years. I went to a Christian college where we attended chapel once a week. I took Old Testament and New Testament. I very much viewed the Bible as a reference manual. I think I started looking at it as something to go to when I had a problem or a question. In my 20s, a couple of times in particular, our church, we lived in Denver at the time, our church read through the Bible. I did always finish it, but often towards the end, it became more about me trying to check off a task, accomplish something, rather than what the Bible actually had to say to me, how I could learn and grow from it. I heard Tara Lee Cobble interviewed a few years ago, and she talked about starting the Bible Recap, which is a Bible reading plan and a podcast that went along with it. And I just really fell in love with the story. Reading parts that I hadn't read in years made the story come alive as a whole. And towards the end, I just saw myself getting really sad about the thought of leaving it behind. I just had so enjoyed it. I loved the characters. I loved God's character that is exposed through reading through the entire Bible. I decided that I wanted to read through it again. And this time I invited a few ladies to join me. And many of those ladies, um, it was their first trip the Bible. And so that's so exciting to see all of the things that I experienced a couple of years before they were experiencing. Something happens when you read the entirety of scripture. You see parts that you didn't before. There's something that you miss when you don't read through the entire arc of the story. God does speak to me much more through the Bible now, whereas before I did tend to use it as a reference manual and now I have this problem and now I'm going to go look up, you know, the 25 verses on being afraid. Last week I was reading through and God convicted me about something that I needed to do differently at my job. And I don't think that that would have happened if I would have just continued reading the parts that I wanted to read. <laughs> One of the things that I like is the gentleness that God can show to even people who have really screwed up <laughs> and his faithfulness to so many of the characters who don't always do the right thing. It has taken away a lot of my desire for perfectionism and high achieving and high performing. <laughs> Still there a little bit, but <laughs> I'm on my fifth trip through the Bible recap. Anybody can do it, even if it's hard. And I, I think I would say the days aren't always perfect. They don't always look perfect. And there are days when I get finished, what exactly did I learn today? I mean, because I am in a hurry or my mind wandered or I was unfocused. God is faithful to use even that. It's not about the work that I put in. It's about his faithfulness to come alongside me and speak to me even when I am unfocused or if I'm in a bad place. His character doesn't change based on what I'm going through. If you want to read through the Bible, come find me. I'd love to do it with you.